ahead in Channel 5's Entertainment Watch. Protection against pesky woodpeckers today. That's right. Last month, the birds drilled nearly 200 holes in the shuttle and forced NASA to postpone Discovery's launch until July. Well, tonight, Channel 5's Angela Davis introduces us to the little Canada entrepreneur who came up with a solution to that problem. Jack Deporton knew this Japanese invention would be a hit in the U.S. when he discovered it 11 years ago. This yellow balloon with six sinister-looking eyes scares away pest birds such as woodpeckers, sparrows, and crows. Why does this frighten them? What is it about it? They think it's the eye of a hawk, or eyes of a hawk. So we call it predator eyes. And they fly away. And they fly away. Deporton sent two of the Predator Eyes balloons to NASA last week to help them solve an expensive woodpecker problem. In May, the birds drilled 195 holes in the insulating foam of Discovery's fuel tank, apparently in an attempt to roost and build nest. The damage forced NASA to roll the shuttle back into the hangar for repairs and postpone the launch until next month. Word of the woodpecker woes brought in a flood of suggested remedies from people around the country. Well, they said that they had, uh, you know, tried all these multiple things, they didn't work, and they had immediate success with this. And how did that make you feel? Just wonderful. From a business standpoint and from, a, uh, you know, helping the government with this, with this horrendous problem they're having. A kind thank you is all that NASA officials offered to Porton for his help, but he says that's all really all he needed. To save them a lot of money. Save them a lot of money, and and uh, they've got better things to do than fool around with uh, woodpecker problems, I'm sure. Yeah. Angela Davis, Channel 5, Eyewitness News. Seeing is believing. If you're a woodpecker, get out of there. NASA reports the shuttle discovery made it back out on the launch pad this morning with the predator eyes on its nose. Not a single woodpecker ventured out there. That's great. You wouldn't think something this simple would no, work. They no, sell it's usually something like that. Yeah, Jack, uh, he told Angela today that he sells about 30,000 of these each year, they're called the predator eyes. Works well. It does. Get it out of your way here. Okay, thanks.